put it too fast. Well, <laughs> welcome to We'll Fix It to Both Old Ass Movie Reviews, where we watch old ass movies pre ninety nine for free ninety nine. That's hey, that's good. Saying. Shut up, shut up, dummy. <laughs> we did it last week. <laughs> you shut your face. It's hey, not good anymore. Um, yeah, new catchphrase, <laughs> new guest host in the building. Also, we got a uh, good homie, a longtime friend of mine, Big Los. A.K.A. Vintage Mets. Yes. Yeah. Why'd you stutter? Because there's a space, and I was like, did I still I say the space? Space Mets. Don't say the Vintage Mets if you meet, leave out the space. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he'll give the ads at the end of the this episode. He'll give the exact, uh, you know, spelling outs of the uh, socials there. Yes. I'm your host, Don Vega. Joe Sonnenblick. Yeah, he's there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and now we are continuing on with our uh, should have been better Women's History Month. We really dropped the ball on this one. I'm but, just to know right now the people that are watching, I'm here to save it. That's it. <laughs> it so if we, they well, admit it's doing a bad job with Women's History Month, but I'm here to, to you know, uh, protect our women and, and <laughs> And let them know that they are um, respected and yeah, appreciated. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah, we brought I, a dude. We brought another man. <laughs> to be on the show. But we're doing great. We're doing great over here. We're doing really fucking good. Um, yeah, so I don't, just to catch you up, Los, uh, we had a bit of a rough Women's History Month. Um, I mean, the first movie we started off with Selena. Dead. And, and we know how that, that ends not great. I mean, for the most part, most of the movie is uplifting, right? And then uh, the second week we had uh, a woman under the influence. A woman under the influence uh, almost she, kills herself. She almost kills herself. She gets beat up by her husband and uh, yeah. several other male figures in the uh, movie, and mentally and emotionally and all that. Yeah, movie. mentally emotionally. And then the third movie we did was a movie called Black Girl. It's a Senegalese uh, French film. Kills herself. From the sixties, she oh. kills herself. I. Love that, and we, I, I would recommend it. Still, would recommend it. it's a beautifully shot movie, a beautifully written movie. I literally forgot the ending. I thought at the he end of the movie happy, something else happened. Down the, we're all gonna go down the lane and oh. and skip skip to my loo. It's not what happened. It's not what mm-hmm. happened, and I oh, regret it. Don, Don must have chat GBT those answers. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I got. It I was rough, man. And everything. <laughs> yeah, it was rough. So if we're doing our count here. I, here's the thing. I found out I, I, I actually, it's not a loophole per se, but technically we did Daughters of the Dust. That was the last movie of Black History Month, and it segued into Women's History Month because literally Women's History Month was the next day. So I'm going to count that. I'm going to count that movie as both. Steve Cohen. There you go. Nice. I'm going to count nice. that movie as both. And Daughters of the Dust was a very uplifting, beautiful movie. I didn't see, which I haven't seen, and I'm going to see. You should. It was actually pretty amazing. And even though Black Girl was terribly depressing at the end, yeah. uh, it's a great film that I, I've been recommending it to everybody since I've seen it. So see that. The only film I can't recommend from this month is Selena, because it pretty sucks. Yeah, Got a question, uh, Joe. Yeah. Um, so how do you ref- recommend that movie to people? Like, what's your opening line? You want to see a masterpiece? Okay. That's you want to see a masterpiece? You want to see a Yo. Yeah. You've seen Black Girl? you like, <laughs> well, what? have you? And then you, you can't really get... have to put it in context. I mean, <laughs> even saying, do you want to see a masterpiece can be taken kind of gross coming from a person looking like you. I well, I shave my mustache. I, I want to know what the next few words are before I say yes. I don't want to. It's Look creepy. down. <laughs> It's no, uh, it's not good. I, 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 I've told people that this is. A, I know that this is a movie they haven't seen because, and I don't want to sound like a dick because, but I am a dick. I I haven't seen it, so I know a lot of people haven't seen it. So I'm just like, if people I know haven't seen it, they're White gonna people. and three people. Jake loved it. Don absolutely loved it. That's great. It's fantastic. I'm glad. Glad he liked it. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal film. 
It so is. this is us trying to turn our ship around. And uh, I mean, even this has its fucking problems, but not the film itself, but just the notion that this is an uplifting movie, a league of their own. And so far, if you're keeping score, the only people that have survived Women's History Month are the white women. <laughs> it's it's not good. We're not doing good, man. Well, um, I'm gonna just say this again. I have not been a part of any of that thing. I just got here. <laughs> I just will think it's cool. <laughs> it's not good, man. We're gonna do so much better next history women's history month. I'm telling you. Next year is gonna be fucking amazing. We should just let women host the show for the month and take off. So your remedy is to not do work during Women's History Month and let the women pick up the heavy load. That's your remedy. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I just got here. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how long. <laughs> you might just leave. You might just be over. Um, <laughs> so what we're doing today is 1992s. Okay. A League of Their Own. We're trying to pick up the spirits a little bit. Um, have, we, have we done a 92? Uh, I don't maybe. think so. We no, we, we should did. be keeping track of the years we we've should. done. We should. Jacob's yeah. Ladder was 90. Yeah. I don't think we did a 92 yet, so this will be new information. Uh, was the Cuban movie 92? 90. Oh, no. It might have been 92. Might have been. Yeah. Hold on. I have might my notes be. here. I could just go right back to well, oh my. nobody cares, Joe. We're doing uh, a League of Their Own, which was directed by Penny Marshall. Yeah, starring Joe. Are those the notes for this? Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, I'm definitely unprepared. Yeah, he takes notes. It's weird. I know, but um, can you see how many notes you have there, right? This is every movie we've done. This is. Oh no, I thought those are the notes that <laughs> for you today's have. episode. <laughs> I said, oh. No, dude, I'm way unprepared. Oh, I got 50 pages on a League of Their Own. I have a couple of things written That's down. That's fine. In green. I know you're like, there's nothing on there. But there's green. <laughs> nothing. I'm Buy like, milk. That's how you come in? Oh, all right, man. I, yeah, I mean, I yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, so Fresai Chocolate was 93. Okay, okay. All right. So. Not bad, not bad. Um, well, yeah, so this movie... Be... Thank you yep. guys for inviting me um, hmm. on this episode because I was happy to rewatch that movie. I yo, that movie when I tell you, it, so it made me feel years. good. Yeah, it so made me feel I good. My boy, I said, yo, I got to watch the League of Their Own. He's like, you never watched it? I was like, yeah. When I was like 14. Bro, I was like, crying like 38 seconds into the <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> like, it was like, like, I, said, I don't know how to give a deep dive on it. Right now, if you was to ask me mad questions, yeah. I wouldn't know, so I gotta rewatch it, bro. Well, because yeah. well, because the also like the score by Hans Zimmer is really good. Hans yeah. Zimmer is a beast, though. He Hans Zimmer is good. a beast. He, when you 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 either want Hans Zimmer or you want John Williams for your big films, um, and this one is just like amazingly scored, and it's not super. Um, it doesn't rely on a soundtrack that much. You're like three or four songs, but it's an original score. Yeah, yeah. Which so, is a rarity nowadays, especially. That's yeah. like, you know, that is just not a thing. Um, and, the, yeah. and the original music being written for this movie, too, when they sing the uh, All American Girls song. Yeah. Boy, if you're not crying during that song, you got a big problem with yourself. Yeah, I didn't cry during that song. You got a big problem with yourself. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big <laughs> so this movie was directed by who again? Penny Marshall. Okay, and starring uh, got Tom Gina Hanks. Davis as Dottie, uh, Tom Hanks as Jimmy, Madonna as May, Lori Petty as Kit, Rosie O'Donnell as Doris, Megan Cavanaugh as Mar- Marla, Tracy Re- Tracy Reiner, um, who is Penny and Rob Reiner's kid as Betty Spaghetti, uh, mm-hmm. Shirley is Ann Cusack. Evelyn is Biddy Schram. Helen is Anne Ramsey. If you've watched uh, Mad About You, that's the sister in Mad About You. Mm. Uh, Freddie Simpson is Ellen. Walter Harvey is Gary Marshall, Penny Marshall's father. Ira Lowenstein is the great David Strathairn. And Ernie Cappadino is John Lovitz, who's just goddamn funny. 
Very all the time. Funny. Funny. Just, I Steve. saw him in the beginning of the movie. I was like, oh, John Murphy. It's yeah. just so. And, and, I heard his voice. Yeah. And some of the lines that well, he improvised <laughs> are just so <laughs> crazy. You know? <laughs> He, he he doing it one of his famous his uh, his famous uh, jealous <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and what, you heard a lot of ah yeah like in the beginning when he asked them to uh, am I speeding up or are we talking about the movie I mean whatever no, uh, no, no, we gonna, we gonna, uh, yeah I mean good when he, yeah, at, uh, when he goes to rec- scout them when they're uh, you know at the dairy. And uh, he uh, tells uh, Kit, like, <laughs> I'm not talking to you. Like, no, nah, I'm not. Not you. Get back under the cow. <laughs> yeah, get back under the cow. That's a good that was, uh, oh, that was funny. Uh, um, you want to do you want to do 92? Or you want to do the trivia first, Don? Let's do 92 first. And then we'll jump into the trivia uh, as we jump into the movie. All right. And I think so, I can, I think I can actually get number one. What was number one, the number one film for 92? And I could, I think I could tell you who won Best Actor and Best Actress from the 92 Oscars. I think. Good for you. Um, so happy for you. We're going to do major events and historical events of 92. Start there. Place, actually, yeah, yeah. yeah um, we're just going to skim through some things. We got the Maastricht Treaty. Never heard of it. Yeah. Some, 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 my white. Communities and white countries, European communities, European. They made the European Union. Hooray for them. John Major, elected Prime Minister of the United Kingdom at his Conservative Party, yada yada. South African ANC President Nelson Mandela meets with UN Security General Boutros Boutros Ghali at Dakar. Never heard of him. It's a boring, boring year. George Soros did something. Church of England. Did something else. Oh, uh, approves the ordination of uh, female priests. So that's nice. And uh, a bunch of other, some other shit. That's good. All right. Anyway, 1992. (laughs) Film and TV. (laughs) Johnny Carson's final appearance as host of The Tonight Show. Wow. I think Bette Midler sang for him that night. That makes sense. Uh, Irish pop singer... Cyanide O'Connor. <laughs> What'd you call her last week? Cyanide O'Connor. Cyanide. So it was, it was, yeah. <laughs> she rips up a picture of Pope John the John Paul II on Saturday Night Live. That ruined her career. Um, so funny because nowadays that wouldn't do shit. Nobody would even blink an eye. No, it's so bizarre, right? Right. They really turned on her really quickly. <laughs> they really fucking did. They didn't give a fuck about the Irish people, man. Crazy. Shout out 92 to in music. Happy End of the Road yeah, single no. released by Boys to Men. Grammy Award. Best R&B performance by a duo or group with vocals. Yada, yada, yada. Billboard Song of the Year, 92. Uh, Metallica singer and guitarist James Hetfield suffers second and third degree burns during a pyrotechnic explosion on stage Canada? at Olympic Stadium, Montreal. Yeah. He got burned. He caught fire. I Will Always Love You. Dolly Parton cover, single released by Whitney Houston, Billboard Song of the Year, 1993. Uh-huh. Sports. NHL players begin first strike in 75-year history. 10-day action earns large playoff bonus increase. More control over licensing of their licenses and change to free agency system. Yet and still, nobody buys those video games. So, likenesses for what? Wrong. They don't sell that well, bro. What do you think, bro? I- I, I buy NHL every year. Cool. How is it? Is it they're good? Uh, this year was kind of mid. Last year was great. Did you play the show yet? No, I don't. I don't play. I don't have a. No, I don't. Uh, I haven't good. had a video game system since PS2. Not a brag. I'm actually pretty sad about it. <laughs> I would really like to play Spider Man or something. It seems like fun. <laughs> Linda, Linda wants to get a Nintendo Switch, and I've been sort of against I've never it. Been a Nintendo person. PlayStation Nintendo is, always is nice, though. You should. Yeah, I mean, I, but there are no sports games. Like, I don't give a fuck about any other game. I don't care about Mario personally. Like, I want to play sports on there, and I want to like. What am I going to get? Red Dead Redemption Two for fucking Nintendo no, Switch. No, but what I'm saying is, you have a you play hockey. Yeah. On what console? Xbox Series S. 
Yeah, well, get the Nintendo Switch. She's not playing no sports. Let her play her Mario. Oh, she plays me in the show. Oh. I beat the shit out of her every time. And that, well, that's why it's Women's History Month. Get her that's the great. Game Switch. That's great. Champion Puerto Rican jockey Angel Cordero Jr. Which Angel I'm, Cordero Jr. I'm sorry. The Spanish guy's name is not Angel. Is it's, that what you're telling me? Brother, it's Angel Cordero Jr. It's the Puerto British Rican. Guy. His name it's is Angel. Angel Cordero. Everybody. You he, fucking his name. kidding me right now. It's his Are name, you bro. Me right now, it's his name, literally bro. an accent mark on what? his fucking name. I'm looking at. It, I'm reading it. I don't give a fuck what his Puerto Rican ass says. His name is. His name is on him. I okay. was gonna watch the show before. So I can... <laughs> How the Angel. fuck are you no. telling me what a Puerto Rican's name is? I'm looking at it, I, and I happen I, to be Puerto Rican. I have a picture of me and him over there. He's fucking gone. Angel. His name is Angel. I wish I, I'll be honest. What a I, dick. I wish I watched before so that I would have been prepared for the energy. It's I'm like, yo, this is hilarious. I love it. We're He's wild tired. He nah, rode a lot it. of horses. That's the that's the fact. <laughs> Stephen Edberg meets Michael Chang. Blah, 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 U.S. Open history. Five hours, 26 minutes. That's a long match. Who can watch tennis for that long? Not me. That's a fucking show. I would have shit myself. Again, loves it upstairs. Loves, uh, loves it. Revenge match of the 20th century American chess ma- grandmaster Bobby Fischer defeats Russian Boris Spassky to win an unofficial match in Belgrade. Oh. San Francisco 49ers wide receiver Jerry Rice catches NFL record 101st touchdown in a 27-3 win over Miami Dolphins at Candlestick Park. Hmm. Arthur Ashe is named Sports Illustrated Sports Person of the Year. Nice. I think 19... he passed away that year. Yeah, 1992. I saw a really cool doc on him. Um, that the one HBO in, uh, did? Yeah, if, but I watched it before it came out on HBO at um, Fort Green Park. They had a showing. Okay. It was pretty dope. I'm, I'm going to watch director, that. He was the director. He was a nice guy. Cool. Um, actors born in 1992. I recognize some of them. Go ahead. Some of them I don't. Cole Sprouse. Never heard uh, of him. I think I know him. Dylan Sprouse. Never heard That's of him. His bro- th- those are the kids from Everybody Loves Raymond. One of them killed oh, themselves. Oh, twins. Oh, no. Did they really? Yeah, one of them killed themselves. Oh damn! Yes. Well, that fucking blows. Unless sure? these, unless these are the kids from Big Daddy. I think these are the Disney kids. Yeah, Big Daddy. This is that's oh, exactly okay. what it is. is because one of the kids from Daddy. Everybody Loves Raymond, they were twins, did kill himself. So why do you just that have that snap effect in your pocket? Kill themselves, but the person oh, that killed himself, rest in peace. Yeah, but I just you know I have facts in my pocket that not a lot of people do. Snacks? Yeah, you do have snacks. Selena Gomez, born in 1992. Never heard that of That was a fat joke. It was because you're fat, in case you missed that. Demi Lovato, born in 1992. Yeah, I'm just going to hand the bat right over to yeah, I mean, Demi this is it is. Lovato, 1992. Demi Lovato, okay. Yeah. She Freddie did. Highmore. Never heard I of him. I know him from he's, some... He's the one that does the autistic doctor show. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's autistic. The autistic he's a doctor. doctor show. He's a, he's autistic. He's autistic, and he's a kid, and he's a doctor. He's an autistic Doogie Hauser, essentially. Oh, nice. I didn't like the original Doogie Hauser, so I didn't. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that was groundbreaking. Was it? I don't know. Doogie Hauser. Just was kind of boring. It, it was basically it was a kid being a doctor. <laughs> I guess that is. Probably- like, I guess I, I, just think about I that. guess you're right. I guess I never did see that. the best doctors. He's <laughs> like, that he's not dead. He was a kid. I was a fucking doctor, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> it's amazing. That's Are you a doctor? Me. No, and you're an adult. <laughs> exactly. You, you're grown. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I can't argue with that. Yeah, it's hard to argue that, yeah. Miley Cyrus, also born in 1992. <laughs> Some musicians okay. born in 1992. I like Molly. Molly's dope. I love her. She has a raspy. Yeah. So once again, Selena, Demi, and Miley born in 92. Also, Lil Durk, 1992. Don't know um, Durk. Kim Sok Jin is a very pale Asian man. He looks, uh, I guess he's one of those K-pop kids. And Cardi B, 1992. Wow. Did so not realize she B. was that much younger than me. Party B. And so much more successful. Um, and she's not even a doctor. No, no. she's not. 
No. But if, if she said she was, I'd believe her. Yeah, why not? Uh, athletes born in 92. We got Elaine Thompson Hera. Nice. She looks like she does track, maybe. She I was going to say probably track and field. Yeah, Jamaican sprinter. All oh. right. Jesse Lingard. Uh, was was a great soccer player for a little bit, played for United, and he ruined his own career. Dang. Oh, cool. Mohamed Salah? Uh, he plays for Liverpool. I hate him. Yeah. Sadio Mane? Uh, he did play for Liverpool. Now he's in Saudi Arabia. He's okay. Well, he's Neymar? Soccer. Yeah. Neymar uh, could could have been one of the greatest, but injuries did him in. He just goes by one name? He's yeah. Brazilian. They He's go got like Lee. seven names, but he goes by name on. Huh. And Kyrie Irving. Mm. Flat Earth. <laughs> Flat Last Earth. Night, get bro, that needle away from me. Last night, this dude hit a circus shot to win the game for Dallas. Yeah. It was fucking bananas. Crazy how amazing this shot was. Not to mention, it's Ramadan, and he was fasting mm. that whole day. There's that too. That is that. That's fucking nuts. I didn't, you know, I never really think about uh, Muslim athletes. How fucking insane that's got to be. It's got to be hard. Hit the oh my game god! Winner. Yeah, shout out to Kyrie. That's fucking nuts. No water. So what is he doing on the sidelines? Did he just sit there? Or was it the game? Was it at night? It was at. Well, he didn't. It was at the sundown. During the game, yeah. Well, he didn't eat. Well, no, 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 no. He was able to. He was able to drink water and Gatorade um, and stuff, though. I, honestly, you could. I hope I so. Yeah. I, I, I think it was an eight o'clock start. Okay. Oh, yeah. I hope so. That's crazy. All right. Who died? Who's dead? There's some people. Grace Hopper. She died. Alex Haley. He died. Roots? Yeah. Uh, he wrote Roots. Yeah. American writer best known for writing the autobiography of Michael Max and Roots. Yes. There you go. Um, Menachem Begin. He died. What would you say? Menachem Begin. Menachem Begin. His mother calls him Menachem. I'm going to call him Menachem. (laughs) Israeli Prime Minister. (laughs) Woo! His his mama called him Menachem. I'm going to call him Menachem. All right? Yeah. (laughs) That's great. Uh, Robert Muldoon. He died. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a good Let's be careful. We sometimes we click on these things and we yeah, find out he, who they he, actually are. Oh, he really could have been a Yo, Robert. He is a he was the New Zealand New Zealand Prime Minister. So oh, nothing probably not a great guy. Yeah, probably not yeah. great, but I don't know how bad it could get in New yeah, Zealand. Yeah, yeah. Alexander Dubček. Uh, that sounds bad. Leader of Czechoslovakia. Bad. Oh. Yeah. And Isaac Asimov. He was a prolific writer, pending over 500 works, a whole lot of like robotics, Sci- uh, sci-fi. Books, sci-fi stuff, really good stuff. Kind of racist, but for the most part, you know, wrote some pretty cool shit. Actors who dead, who dead it, who uh, took the long sleep in 92. Hmm. Marlene Dietrich. Mar- Marlene Dietrich, yes. Marlene Dietrich. Black. Yeah. Sam Kinison. Coke. Well, a car crash after Coke. Yeah, that was uh, also known as uh, Bobcat, right? No. Bobcat's a different guy? Yeah. yeah. But he, okay, Sam Kennison did the yelling stuff, though. Yes, there you yeah, go. He was one of those yelling comments. He was yeah. in Back to School, Rodney Dangerfield. He was in Back to School. That. He was in uh, uh, Married with Children. He had a mm-hmm. reoccurring role in Married with Children. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anthony Perkins. Yeah, good actor. Shirley Booth, white lady, black and white picture. Hazel. She was Hazel and Hazel. My mother loved Hazel. Mm-hmm. Shit, Just come shit back, show. Little Sheba, about Mrs. Leslie and the matchmaker. Those yeah, were God some of show. her highlights. Uh, Paul Henry. Paul Henry. Paul Henride. Mm-hmm. Starred in Night Train to Munich, Munich uh, Casablanca. Oh, he was the... Uh, Your the, favorite the movie, Don? I like Casablanca a lot. It's one of my favorite movies. Very problematic, but one of my favorite movies. He was the boyfriend in Casablanca. Well, he was the husband, actually. He was not the boyfriend. He was the husband. Uh, Jose Ferrer. 
Puerto Rican dude, Joan of Arc, Serrano de Bergerac, and Serrano Mubarak. de Bergerac? Yep, that's what the fuck I said. That's right. Um, Menachem de Bergerac. <laughs> Maneko. <laughs> Asalaba Maneko. <laughs> yeah, Roger Miller died also. Uh-huh. King of the Road. Sure. And dot, dot, dot. Okay. Famous Weddings. What? It's, it's baseball. MLB baseball right fielder Sammy Sosa got married with Sonia Rodriguez. Do you see what Sammy Sosa is doing to himself recently? Doing? He's did. It's, he's, he is overdone. Well, no, he's but he's he's back to being brown. Yeah, he re- no, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He so recharged his brown. All right, so to, to, all right, let me give you a little lesson. Yeah. You can't reverse that. So when people want to get lighter, they use something like a bleaching cream or like a soap or something, right? But now when you want to re-darken, you put like a browning sauce. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I don't like you have watched us. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, you can't go oh the... I mean I made I just made a face. Don made the noise. Because uh, <laughs> it's like uh, He's just brown again. He was so know. pink. And it the fucked up part is that he the, he had the audacity to actually wear a whole pink outfit that one time. Remember when he did that? <laughs> nah. Why would you do that? He looks Why like you, he, he looks like under. He looks like undercooked pork. Nah, he looks like your dog when he's too excited. <laughs> like, <laughs> back in your body. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? It's company. <laughs> uh, you can't with me. That and uh. Not brownie sauce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, brownie sauce. Oh, I think it's no. pronounced gravy. <laughs> no, but the little it's like the sauce. All right. No, no, no. Let him keep going. Let him keep it's going. what they use for oxtail, Joe. <laughs> brownie sauce. Yeah, it's brownie. Oh fuck, man. Like collagen, right? All right. No, no it's not. No. Great. Well, mine's All right, less. So we already know Arthur Ashe was Sports Person of the Year. Who do you got for uh, Best Actor? Oscar for Best Actor, 1992. Anthony Hopkins? Wrong. Oh. Not Pacino. Pacino. Ooh. Oh, for Scent of a Woman? Maybe. I don't fucking know. Very good. Um, who do you got for... <laughs> I told you, it never tells me this on this website. Who the fuck... Like, what did he win for? It doesn't. Uh, Yeah, no. People have have to... a, uh, yeah, sense of woman. There you go. Um, best actress. It's so then it's not Jodie Foster. No. Mm. Not Jodie Foster, but it is a white man. A uh, white woman. White shocking. man. <laughs> it's a white woman, shockingly <laughs> enough. 1992. Not Annette Benning. No. No. Mm. What came out in 92? Or 90? Well, no, because... I'm going to give you 10 more seconds. Yeah, it's the first letter of her first name. E. E? E. It's not Ellen Burstyn again. No, it's not. It's Ellen Barkin? No, it's not. E? It's E, as in every time we do this segment, I regret it. E. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Emma Thompson. Wouldn't have gotten it. Uh, For the piano? I don't fucking know. All right. <laughs> I don't care, oh. man. Yeah. I have no idea. Wouldn't what, have gotten what, it. What does it say here? Yada, yada, yada. Doesn't say. Okay, so. keep going. Academy Award, her role in Howard's End. Oh, Howard's End. Okay, she's a. Well, it could have been Anthony uh, Anthony Hopkins. He was in that. Whatever, whatever, man. I'm All right, slide. now we're gonna go to our next segment, which is. <laughs> I should have got water. Browning source of college. Yeah, we should have been. <laughs> Uh, the grossing movies, the the grossing movies of uh, what movies made top grossing yeah. movies, nineteen ninety two. 
We got a list of 214 movies here. This this website is so inconsistent as as to what they want to like throw on here. It's weird. Just I want to just do 20 to 1. We'll do 20 to 1. Let's see where I could find where we first we're going to guess as to where we think this movie landed. Oh, it's top 5 for sure. A League, of, a League of Their Own. Top 5. No, not top 5. It made $130 million. It did not make $130 million. Uh, it did. I'm it did. looking at this thing, and it says, you're a fucking liar. Oh, I'm not. He's well, honest. at least not in 1992. It could, you know, those movies keep, it, this one came out, what did this movie oh. came out? July. It probably went all the way into 93, I guess, right? They used to have long stretches like that back then. A League of Their Own. So, yeah, where do you think A League of Their Own landed? It's not top five. You you could you could take a guess here too, Los. There is no winning. There is no prize. <laughs> I know I'm so bad at this. Um, and there's no point. <laughs> we asked that question. Where on the list of top grossing movies of 1992 out of 241 movies that were in theaters that year, do you think a league of their own? Oh, definitely landed? top top uh, ten. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah! Oh you! Oh you want an exact number? I, I mean, if you want, yeah. oh, it, it literally came in uh, at eight. Exactly what it came in at. Oh, your boy is good at this. <laughs> you lose, Joe. Oh, this is oh, I'm my bad, Joe. I didn't know I was. No, I don't care. <laughs> I, really gonna, I thought it was a top. There's I'm, gonna Don, be a debriefing meeting after this. Don, How dare Don, you? Don told me. <laughs> Don told me it didn't gross 132 million, and I'm just looking at the numbers. 132 no, million you because dollars. I see that it did gross that. Well, this says it was 107 million. In That's America too. Whatever, man. I don't like. What? <sighs> I'm just reading the thing, dude. I don't know what you want. From okay, me. so if it's 132 million, would that put it into the top five? Just, but, I mean, this is only showing me uh, America, Canada, and Mexico. Okay, so, so that's the same. It's the same list I look at every time. Domestic. I look so, at domestic. I look so at add, All right, so add the 27 million to it. Where you does add it, put it? it? I don't have the list. I mean, you can't add 100, 105, 27, 132, and then <laughs> compare it. Nope. Anyway, we're going to do the top 20. <laughs> There's a lot of movies that came out this year. This is another one of those like huge... Batman Returns theaters. is number one. Yeah. Okay, now keep going. Way to way to go. Way to ruin the suspense. Uh, oh, we did do it. No, we didn't do that movie. Never mind. Anyway, starting from number 20, Far and Away. Never saw it. Number 19, Boomerang. It's Hurry. okay. Nice. Number 18, Unforgiven. It, most one of the most overrated movies ever made. Like that could be in my top five overrated films ever. You ever seen that one, Love? No. White people and cowboy. Number seventeen, The Last of the Mohicans. All right. We did the white do this. people and cowboy this year. Yes. We didn't do Last of the Mohicans. Yes, we did. Wait, is that the one with what's his face? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we did do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we did do ninety two. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Number 16, White Man Can't Jump. Great movie. Number 15, A Few Good Men. Great movie. Number 14, Fried Green Tomatoes. Not a great movie. It's a good movie. No? That sounds familiar. It was Fried Green Tomatoes. It's uh, Sally Field and Dolly Parton. It's a good movie. This guy hates women. Number 13, Under Siege. Yes. Even Seagal. Number 12, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Ooh, blah. You made you made him a porno guy, Bram, Bram Stoker. Stoker. <laughs> Bram Stoker. Oh, oh shit. Well Whoops. I thought I wasn't gonna catch that, huh? I was reading my list. Stoker. That was uh, reading my cue list, my bad. That I, uh, I, I just recently saw that. It's uh, Coppola directed that. It's okay. it's okay. It's okay. Uh, vaguely remember it. Number eleven, Patriot Games. It's okay. Number ten, the hand that rocks the cradle. It's okay. Number nine, the bodyguard. <laughs> Not great. Number eight, a league of their own. Good. Number seven, basic instinct. Is that number six? Wayne's World. I don't like. Ready time. Excellent. 
number five, Aladdin. One of the greatest movies of all time. Joe hates joy, so he's going to disagree. Why does Joe hate Aladdin? I don't like Disney films. Brown they, people. They trash. Too many brown people. It doesn't care for brown. It's trash. I don't I like Disney. <laughs> doesn't like the browns. Not enough manatum. Um, <laughs> Manitominin. Number four, Sister Act. Okay. Good. Yeah, good I bet. I like Sister Act. Number three, Lethal Weapon 3. Too hmm. many. Yeah, too many. The first one was fine. Come on. Yeah. Number two, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. It's the better of the it's two. Yeah. It is. Good one. Yeah. It is. So where was he lost the first time? In his uh, house. Oh, yeah. He was in his <laughs> house. I forgot you didn't leave the house. Upstairs. I literally only remember the, the one in New York. Yeah, you're right. I guess he was just in the house. Well, it, it's interesting that because this movie, the Home Alone was set in like Illinois, right? What are Marv and Harry doing in Illinois? If they're from New York, what are they doing? They're, they're, you tell me they're cross country burglars in a beat up van? Mm. Come on. Get out of here. Mm. Maybe. And then number one, Batman Returns. But the I, best. Oh, we, that's we it. Lost he didn't we like lost. my Home Alone he take. He did not like your Home Alone take or your Aladdin take. One of them pushed him to the edge. He went too far. I wonder if these, there's only a 30-minute thing on his. Why would that be a thing? I don't know. It's at 36, so that's not possible. I'm not. I just said words. But you just made things up. I don't understand so? why you would just make something up. I don't. Why would you do that? Let's he's see. He's done. He's he's had it. <laughs> Let's try to get him back. He well, probably didn't plug his computer in or something. That yeah, tends to happen. Uh, I got a lot of text messages. You? Yeah. Anyways. You owe us money. Where is the money? Give us the money. <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh. Oh. I don't know what that means. I don't know. What do you mean? Yo. Where is he? <laughs> His computer died. So weird. Stop you see weird. me? <laughs> you don't charge yeah. it. Yeah, when, you, when, you, <laughs> when you don't well, put the power, <laughs> well, I mean, it was funny because he was just staring at my <laughs> Home Alone take, and then he went away. So that that works for me. Um, I'll wait to do the trivia to uh, load this back. No, we don't see you. Are no, you in the room? Actual recording is higher quality. He is in the room. room. And they will display display this camera and mic. Bap, 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 bap. He's experiencing connectivity issues. Huh. All right. We're going to stop it. So this is going to be a two parts. We're going to stop it and, you know, cut right back. Let's see what happens. Okay. This is the second part of uh, whatever we're doing here. A League we'll of Arrow. We'll fix it in oh, we're going to get to the movie. Yeah, yeah now we're shortly. To, oh, well, actually, yeah. Well, so we, we left off uh, <laughs> recanting. Home Alone. Uh, home, well, yeah, and and Loaf did not like yeah, the yeah. take yeah. On, he on Home Alone. And he said, I fuck this. Like, I wasn't he he definitely didn't like the Aladdin slander. Yeah, yeah We I'm had to have a little side conversation yeah. and calm so, those down. So, yeah, yeah. let's. Yeah, apologize, Joe. He wants an apology. No, I don't. I just want a little explanation. I just want, I just want to know who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Why I don't like Disney films? Yeah, uh, they're fake. They're stupid. It's not real. It's not real life. I don't want. I don't want to be happy. No, I don't want falsity. See other people be happy. I know. No, but no, no. What's your favorite movie? Ever? Oh God. Yeah. Uh, my favorite. Film is Persona by Ingmar Bergman. My favorite American film is Raging Bull. De, uh, De Niro and Scorsese. Not a lot of is it a real movie? movie? Uh, is... Yeah, it's about Jake LaMotta. How do you not like Disney movies because they're fake? A lot Most. of movies are fake. That's what I mean. Like, I mean, Most. they're just not. Uh, they're not for me. They're not my. Uh, not my go-to. 
don't like them. <laughs> so you don't like Lion King? No, not really. I watched it again recently. What is the one Disney movie that you do like? If yeah. you had to choose one, what is one that you be like? Yeah, well, I do fuck with that. Actually. Well, not animated, but like the like heavyweights, uh, Mighty Ducks. Um, well, I mean that doesn't Camp nowhere. Those I don't like any. I, I don't, I'm talking about specifically animated. Oh, I'm talking about specifically because you could say the live act. Yeah, Mighty Ducks. Who the fuck doesn't like Mighty Ducks? People that don't like sports. Well, um, boy, that's hard. Animated. Small Soldiers wasn't Disney, was it? No. Well, it might have been, but that's not even animated. Hmm. The CGI, but I wouldn't call that animated. What about Iron Giant? Did you like Iron Giant? No. That was really good. You're that's such cool. a miserable fucking person. You really are. You what? Do you give him a chance, or you just say it's Disney? Nope, not doing it. No, I've watched. I've watched. I watch oh. everything. Look. That's oh, the thing about me. I, I don't watch. I don't just say something to say it. I've watched. Oh, you, all right. I what about watched. Tiny Toaster? Uh, that I haven't watched. I've never seen Tiny Toaster. I don't know you know that. what it is, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good. Um, pretty good animation, too. I would have to say, if I had to pick one, <sighs> Mulan. Uh, really? Oh. The one where the chick is dressed like a dude for the entire movie. You really dug that one. I mean, if I had... You the hold of the gun. I, I don't like any of them. You. That made a, a lasting impact on you. What do you want from me? I didn't... I don't. I mean, The Land Before Time weren't Disney films, but I liked the first one. How about that? How about The Land Before Time? Does that count? No. Well, then, fuck Anyway, you. moving on. Los, what was your favorite Disney animated film? Oh, so many, but... Because he likes to be happy. I like to be happy, my too. favorite Disney movie of all time. Can you run me down a couple just so I can refresh my We mind? got Beauty and the Beast. We Ooh. got, uh, yeah. you know, like we said, uh, Aladdin, Lion King, all right. so, Seven Dwarves. And... I'm going to say my favorite is... <laughs> it's Woman's History Month, Beauty and the Beast. The one where the woman is captured by a piece of the beast. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. You're right. You know, stick with it. Stick with it. That works. That makes sense. Yeah. The one that's an abusive relationship. That's fantastic. And is imprisoned in her home. So it's not old joy is what you're saying. Oh, no. No, that one I think you would actually like. You, you should actually probably take, take a I've gander seen at that beauty one. Yeah, the beast, bro. <laughs> yeah. Also, it ends beautifully. What are you talking about? Um... <clears throat> Yikes. Mm-hmm. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Batman Returns was the number one movie in 1992. One of my favorite Batmans ever. I, I would say that's I, I would say that's the best Batman. That's got to be the best one. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, would for, I would for sure put that as one, and then the original Batman is two. Hmm. And then, you know, the really campy Batman with Jim Carrey and... Uh, I don't hate that. It's still good. I don't hate good. it either. It's it still good, bad. yeah. People give it a bad, it's bad break. a lot of hate. Yeah, but it, I do... Yeah. Did you ever read the story that Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones, like, fucking hated each other? Well, it was more no. so Tommy Lee Jones hated him. Jim Carrey was just doing his own thing, as he well, always then, does on every set. Well, then don't take a, don't take a, a payday if you don't want to sit with Jim Carrey. From what I have read in different things, different movie sets like Man on the Mo- uh, Man on the Moon and shit like that, he kind of ODs. <laughs> he yeah. really Bad. gets into his no method, Bad. and he could be a lot. And 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 what's funny about Man on the Moon is he's great in Man on the Moon, but it's not a great movie. Mm. You know, like he's really great, and you're just sort of like, wow, you did all that, you alienated so many people <laughs> to be in this not great film. Yeah. You know. Do oh, you want to do trivia now? What do you want to do? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's open to the trivia for 1992's A League of Their Own. All right. Let's finally in get 2000- into this movie. In 2012. Took Joe long enough. <laughs> in 2012. Here we go. We're getting into the movie. I'm done. <laughs> in 2000. 2000- <laughs> 
In 2012, the film was selected by the U.S. Library of Congress for preservation in the National Film Registry Archives. Tom Hanks gained 30 pounds in preparation for his role. He attributed the weight he gained to a Dairy Queen. All during filming, Penny Marshall encouraged Hanks to keep on eating. Meanwhile, she also told Rosie O'Donnell to eat as little as possible, which is funny. Uh, and this is this is no shock. This one. In Evansville, Indiana, where the Racine Games were filmed, Madonna was rude to citizens, hotel and restaurant staff, and other locals, so much so that her reputation is still tarnished there. She also spoke poorly of the city in interviews. Give a fuck. I mean, it's Madonna, peak Madonna at that. Yeah, it's during sex Madonna. Which like, is be, be fucking for real. Like, one of my how favorite. else is Madonna going to act but like Madonna? Nice. Like no. a virgin. Maybe she would act like a virgin. And here's the thing. Where'd you say this was again? Uh Evan uh Evansville, Indiana. Okay. She's a New Yorker. People don't like New Yorkers. She could have been just acting very New Yorker at all. What is it? Uh I thought she was a New Yorker too, and she's from the Midwest somewhere. Oh, oh no. What? Ruined. Ruined. I don't uh, you sure it's like not like Long Island or something? Bay City, Michigan. Uh, she is Italian, but is she? No, yeah, I don't even know what her last name is. Is uh, she Chicone. anywhere? It's very Italian. Is she any? Is that anywhere near Detroit? What does it matter? Does, uh, she, does she has like a city? You know, more city vibe. Oh no! You didn't know that? I didn't know no, that either. What do you think about that? that? I didn't know that. Uh, I don't like it. I wish you didn't tell me it. <laughs> He also, I, I mean, if you listen to her talk, she doesn't sound like a New Yorker. I don't think I ever talked about, listen to her talk about anything of, uh, for a substantial amount of time to really. Because she's a wacko. Yeah. Because at one point no. she had a British accent, so. Right. That makes you know that you're a wacko. <laughs> and once you start getting into the Kabbalah, see you later. Yeah. Sister. Uh, yeah. uh, during filming of the World Series game, stars took turns entertaining the unpaid extras. Tom Hanks did puppet shows. Rosie O'Donnell did stand-up comedy. Various actors pretended to be Madonna and sang her songs after the singer would not come out and even talk to the fans. Um, the movie's line, There's No Crying in Baseball, was voted as the f number 54 movie quote by AFI out of 100, which I'm surprised it's that low. I would think it's top it's really 20. Good quote, yeah. I would think well, it's, it's been like 20. 30 years, so you know, there's a lot more lines that came after. That's your reasoning, huh? Time. <laughs> time. Time. Reasoning. Time after time. Time. Is that Madonna? <laughs> yep. Ah, great song. All right. The movie. <laughs> Okay, I enjoy the. All right, cool, cool. All right, we're getting into the movie. All right, I'm ready. I enjoy the old Columbia Pictures logo. Love it. Love it. Like that makes you feel like you're you're doing something. Uh, open up on the future, old Dottie looking. Did at you want to have like a twenty minute Dottie drive one day? What were you What were you looking for from me? <laughs> okay. Old Old Dottie looking at her pictures. Old Dottie, Old Dottie looking at her pictures, packing up for the reunion. And the the daughter's just like, hey, old lady, get out of my house and go to this fucking thing, okay? I'm sick of this. You sitting in this room, the old broad. Uh, Gina Davis's voiceover here throws me off. I don't like it. Just hmm. let the old lady talk. Let her say the You lines. know, the, the wild thing is it took quite a while for me to realize this was a completely different actress. I was like, yeah. oh, they got a lady that what? looked exactly like an older... Person, good I, job. When I was a kid, I thought it was Gina Davis too. I thought it was makeup and shit. Yeah. Like, how, how did they do such good makeup in '92? But the sync is so off. Mm -hmm. Like her saying, you know, and then Gina Davis's voice, it's so off. It, it, wait, 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 wait. Let me understand what you're saying. You're saying that Gina Davis's voice was dubbed over this actress's yeah. voice? Yeah. No shit. What are you fucking kidding? I just thought it was, you know, a little bit off because it's an old movie. I don't know. Sometimes no. they have fuck ups and they don't take them out. That's Gina Davis's voice over her lips just moving. Get the fuck out of here. What a weird choice. Horrible choice. Because the sink is way off. 
Well, maybe that lady's voice was terrible. You ever think I about think, that? Joe, you just came up with another catchphrase, catchphrase, which is, what are you fucking kidding? That's a I good mean, one. I, just, I think I say that a lot. That's a good one. That's a good one. Don, do I say that a lot to you? You're abused. Um, <laughs> you're abused. Is, oh, I mean, I might use that to some people now. Uh, yeah, you're abused. It's a good. That's a good catchphrase. You're abused. Uh, yeah, during Women's History Month. Well, no, for you personally, in your yeah, little no, 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 penis yeah, hat. Abuse is hilarious. Fine, talking, you, it's funny. You brought up when we brought up our favorite movies. You criticized them for like not being uh, pro Women's History Month, but you. And the beginning of the show, you said that you've done a terrible job with representing women's history. Um, so set the precedent. No, I said we. And by we, I meant Joe. Joe really fucked this month up for everyone. Oh, Joe. Yeah. All right. My <laughs> man, no, Joe. You, really, Joe. You, you no, picked a movie you know. where a woman dies at the end. Because we'll I too. forgot the end. Absolutely. Because I forgot the end. You, Selena. And then you accused Jennifer Lopez of... <laughs> Assassinating Selena. Yo, Lowe's, you gotta watch that Selena episode. You're gonna fucking die. It was very fucking funny. It's you accused funny. Jennifer Lopez for it's having a career funny. by assassinating Selena herself. Joe said that Selena came out seven months no. after she died. I said it's That's what he filming. said. And I said, wait a minute. Are you saying that J Lo <laughs> killed Selena so that she could star as Selena? Is that what you're saying? It started how shooting. The fuck did they make a whole movie seven months later? And they did. No, they did it. It was no. like it was a, it was a very inappropriate uh, almost it was a two year. years. It was very inappropriate. But it I said seven. they started shooting seven months later. Go back and watch it. I watched it this morning. It was very funny. Anyway, moving on. Let's go with the movie, man. Okay. Uh, it was just something I did. That's all. Daddy saying about baseball, um, and then the daughter forces her to go, and then she says uh, to her grandkids, "Give him a chance to shoot. Promise." And then to the other one, says, "Kill him." And that's her and Kit. That's the relationship that they're going to have. You'll see that, the foreshadowing of their relationship. Has any... I know, Don, you've never been to Cooperstown. Los, you ever been to Cooperstown? Fuck you. What do you mean? Of course I've been to Cooperstown. Why would you assume I've never been to Cooperstown? You don't like baseball. No, I don't like white people. I like Cooperstown. I've been to Cooperstown. There's a lot of white people in that Hall of Fame there. Didn't care for it. Didn't go to that section. People in Cooperstown. Just to... Didn't care for that town. Didn't care for the town. (laughs) Did you go to the Amagang Brewery? Did you go to the brewery? No, I went when I was a kid. I went to Howe Caverns while I was in Cooperstown. Oh, I see. It's a cave. It's a human a cave. <laughs> and all I got was his hat. I you said to... that you hate white people, but you went to a cave. Yeah, to see With where they came people. from. To see where they came from. The cave. Why are you clutching your pearls? Why are you clutching your pearls when you're in a cave, Don? You're clutching your pearls, Don. Oh. Uh, <laughs> White Ooh. people live in caves. Ooh. I <laughs> shudder to think what happened in the, the eclipse thoughts, of the cave. The thoughts and opinions. <laughs> this is gonna be the longest episode ever. Uh, oh so boy, we're an hour in. We, are... yeah, that's normal. This is about where we are. Right. Um, this is Cooper's... actually better than normal. Actually, yeah, normal. yeah, you're Usually... actually speeding it up, so it's good. Usually, we do like two hour and twenty minute episodes. Oh shit. Yeah, uh, yeah, too much. Yeah, uh, baseball Hall of Fame. They're showcasing the AAG PBL. Dottie looking out and remembering, and now the movie actually starts. Hey, do you guys recognize the voice of the newsreel man? Do you know who that is? No. Harry Shearer from The Simpsons. Kent Brockman. Oh, sure. Yes. Uh, Gary Marshall as Harvey is very great. David Strathairn as Ira Lowenstein, also great. And now we're back in the Oregon, in Oregon in the forties. Dottie and Kit playing for the Derry, uh, no high ones. Kit strikes out. Dottie wins it for the local team. And then John Lovitz is the fucking man for like fifteen minutes of this movie. He is so fucking funny. And I just, I don't know if you guys, I, I don't want to give Bill Burr free publicity, even though nobody watches the show. I don't want to give Bill Burr free publicity, but Bill Burr and John Lovitz just were on. Bill Burr's podcast, and they were just roasting each other for an hour, and it was the funniest fucking thing. Those two, and they're best friends, and it's so funny. You should watch that if you haven't, but watch art. Keep watching. You have the internet? Yeah, if you have the internet. Uh, Dottie just fucking mashed one, wins the game, everybody cheering for Dottie. I gotta say, the baseball scenes in this movie 
are actually pretty good. Very good. All of them. The, well, there were a few yeah, points but... where I was like, ah, that's not a home run. Like, the way a bat is swung, like, but oh, otherwise. Like the way the ball came off the bat, sure. I mean, yeah. 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 But but it, it, it was, it was for that, it was really good. It's like, um, that is a ground to first. <laughs> Very yeah, clear. Like, ground like, to first. There was one ball that Gina Davis hit, and I was like, this. That's, that's a line out to the second baseman. And all of a sudden, you got that fucking Daryl Strawberry power. I don't know where that came from. Um, Dottie Mash one. Yeah, but we won. Get mad if we lose. Kit is jealous off the rip. Should have had you and, got, and gotten a dog. Weird line. You know, no, what she uh, meant by that no, was yeah. how yeah, dad, they, she's not wanted. Her dad is always introducing them like, "Hey, this, this is my daughter, Dottie, and this is Dottie's sister." Like basically, like this is the other one. Not you know. Mm -hmm. Um. And, well, basically, she was like, "Well, yeah, she, they should have just had you and had a dog. That's how they treat me." Well, well yeah, I I do I do enjoy uh. John Lovitz here saying uh, it would bruise the hell out of me. Talking about the cows being milked. Your hat is never going to not be crooked. Stop touching it. Um, pull her leg for a while. Mine is long enough. I don't want you. I want her, the one who hit the ball. You can climb back under the cow. Uh, now, now, look, I know the f goods when I see the goods, and she's the goods. If she comes, you can come too. And I said, John Lovitz just looked the same for 40 fucking years. Like, he's never stopped looking like John Lovitz. Not gotten yeah. older. Right. He just looks like John Lovitz. Um, Kit trying to convince Dottie to go. Please, Dottie, I got to get out of here. I'm nothing here. And they are off. And then they're running for the train. And great line. Sir, your knee. And she, he, Dr. John Lovitz goes, you mind it? <laughs> Very good. John Lovitz, one-liners at a premium. Step Stopping off at Fort Collins to see Marla Hooch. And this broad is ripping him. Pow, pang. I wish, I wish we had a, a seven-hole hitter who can rip them like Marla Hooch. Uh, Marla isn't a looker, and that's some pretty heavy, <laughs> insulting shit that John Lovitz is saying right to this fucking guy's face about his daughter. It's crazy. Yeah. She was basically doing the whole uh, Marty Feldman bit, the whole movie. Yeah. Uh, you know, Marty Feldman, who played Igor and uh, Young Frankenstein. Igor. His mother <laughs> called him Igor. I'm going to call him Igor. Yeah. Um, I know my girl ain't so pretty as these girls. That's my fault. I raised her as a boy. She loves to play. Don't make my little girl suffer because I messed up raising her. Great lines. Really good lines. Uh, don't worry. And this, this line made me cry. Don't worry about me. You're going to play baseball. What a fucking great line. Well, it's a great line. Baseball is important. Don. Yeah, uh, yeah. See how it works is the train moves, not the station. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, American flag in the train reflection. Whatever. Uh, now they're Wrigley Field. And then John Lovett says, give the wife a little tickle pickle. Pickle tickle. Why? Great line. Sex Field, this, try this movie was For a movie that's about <laughs> women's baseball, it was rampant with misogyny and sexism oh. as the bits. Yeah. Field, tryouts, play. Uh, May and Doris, real New York heavies, even though Madonna, we just learned, is not from New York. Rosie O'Donnell, I think, is from Queens, if I'm from not Queens. mistaken. Might uh, be Long Island, but probably, uh, I think Queens. Yeah, I think Long Island, really. Yeah. They throw the ball at Dottie. She catches it barehanded. Uh, hey, how'd you do that? Excuse me. Hello. Hey. Uh, when our boys come home from war, what kind of women will they be coming home to? Which... Uh, there was a lot of that in the '40s, like when women started playing ball or just doing anything that men did. The the I was watching some of the old newsreels because I wanted to just see if they were pretty close to that. And you can go on YouTube and find old 1940s newsreels during the war. Um, yeah, they're really they're worse, yeah. much worse than uh, that. Um, Dottie's the goods even here. Some of these, and I, I said some of the scenes of, of of the women hitting and fielding and sliding, they're great. They are. Yeah. The, this is a film that relies heavily on montages to move the story along, and usually montages tend not to work. This is everyone's every montage is great. 
They all and the work. physicality, like you said, is was, was like on point. These are like the actual actresses that are doing these things because their face is full frontal for the most mm-hmm. part. Um, so like I can't imagine how many takes it must have took for a lot of these shits, Those right? Tryout uh, scenes are really good. I was like, wow, yeah, this is really good. The way and they that- shot, the way they, the girls are scooping the balls, throwing it to first, flying, diving for. For catches, and, like, oh, this and this is, is like I'm talking about like better than some men's baseball movies that yes, we see. One, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying like for believe, sure. like believable, like for some sure. men's baseball shit. Like think about uh, what's the one with the the fucking cokehead. Like some of those ones wasn't wasn't all that great. Uh, one of the There's glasses pitches. Oh, uh, 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 Major League. Wild thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Major League. Some okay, of them yeah, scenes in there is kind of like meh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but compared uh, to this. I was gonna I was gonna ask if we should do a little top three baseball after this. We'll do a top three baseball list after this. Films, film sure. ones. Um where was I? Uh some of the scenes is great. Kit is a peach, Dottie's a peach, and then this is great. Homegirl who can't read Shirley Baker, one of the other girls comes up oh. and helps her read. Yeah, Can you read, me. honey? That's Bro, that me. shit. You're was not like, crying? You're crying. She was like crying. She was I'm <laughs> fucking That's it. You know where I was. I couldn't read. No, because I, I, I thought she was on the cut list. Yeah, and and it just turns out she's a bumpkin. <laughs> um, uniforms are a dress. Short. I'm gonna have to squat in that thing. There's no smoking, no drinking, no men. Madonna gets up to leave. Uh, beauty school, sipping, dancing, eating, posture. Uh, Rosie then, O'Donnell and Madonna's parts throughout this movie were very fucking funny. Well, they were actually point. friends. They were actually like really, really. Yeah, you really could good. tell. Yeah, you could tell that they, their their chemistry was. I mean, everybody's shit was pretty on point. I didn't really have any weak. I didn't see any weak actors or weak points in this movie. No, but their shit was good. Their yeah. shit was fucking funny as shit. Uh, uh th- this is a really good uh, little one liner when they're looking at Marla Hooch and they say, "Well, what do you suggest? A lot of night games." That was pretty funny. Oh. Yeah. That was, that was like was the, the, the the how to be a lady classes, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Which is funny that we made women go through that in the in the forties. It's so wild. That was horrible. Yeah. Why did why why are we doing that? I don't care if you know how to stand up with a book on your head. What does that prove? Nothing. The answer is nothing. Uh, Tom Hanks, Jimmy Dugan, fantastic. One of my favorite Tom Hanks roles, I would say. It's and it's he he also stated that it was his favorite role to play. He looks like he was having a good time. Yeah. Well, that is blunt. No, I just can't afford it. Talking about booze, which is fun. that's a funny line. Fall down drunk, fuck up. He doesn't want to manage girls. First game's pretty empty. Dugan walks in drunk as fuck or hung over as fuck and takes that long ass piss, which was a hose that Penny Marshall was. Uh, controlling and even tom hanks didn't know how long the hose was going to go for so a lot of his like mannerisms are improvised and when mm-hmm. he looks up at the wall and the he's, he's mouthing the words thank you that's really funny really good um it rips up the baseball card madonna impressed by how much he can piss for some reason is that impressive how much a man can piss well that's an impressive I mean, it's a long stat. piss. That's an impressive stat? You know? say if you pee long, you be wrong. You be long. Huh? Okay. Uh, <laughs> wild. Wild information. Uh, <laughs> Tom Hanks, man, thank you. Very funny. Hey, great to meet you. When, uh, with Tom Hanks. Dottie make, make, makes the lineup, and it's a good one. And this is bullshit. You can all kiss my ass when he takes off his little hat. And kiss it right there and fuck her up. Very good. Uh, they're just making fun of them. Are they laughing at us? Yeah, they're laughing at us. The fans are just there to make fun of the women at this point. Uh, they think of them as a circus act, a sideshow. They bought tickets to do that. It's yeah, so it's so weird. wild. Yeah. Like, That's it's weird. like... It's like I know people. Have you ever been to the monster truck shows? No. Yes. No, right? But did you went? Did you go to make fun of it or did you go to enjoy it? To enjoy it. 
Yeah, but right. I mean, what are you gonna do? You're gonna yell at uh, an engine that you can't. Nobody can hear you anyway, even if you did yell. No, no, I know, I know, but I like. It's a bad well, example. Do a different one. Um, <laughs> what's the one in Jersey with the knights? Uh, Medieval times. Yeah. I used to go to that when I was a kid. I, it I shows. Uh, Los? <laughs> I've never been. <laughs> I went quite often, actually. I was a rotisserie chicken king. <laughs> I, I, I've never been in basically the way you see Disney movies. I see medieval times. <laughs> there you go. Hey, hey. There you go. Hey. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, yeah. You guys have no culture. That's all. It is. Medieval <laughs> times is culture. <laughs> That's what culture. I must Are, be new here. Do you think there are any black knights now? Like African American. I know what you mean. Meaning? Okay. I know you meant the movie with Martin Lawrence. <laughs> I know there's uh British knights. The shoes, the sneakers. Terrible. Very oh. good. I just can't mm-hmm. boo this yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Boo. I, I was I was okay with it. Um, you would be. Well, you make terrible jokes all the time. Uh, I'll help you out with that, Don. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I want to find out if there's any black. Then I'll go and pay my support. Uh, I have been willing to go again. As, yeah, I, I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. Uh, Jimmy, yeah. Scr- Jimmy, Jimmy scratches his balls in the dugout. Ellen Sue knocks off the heckler from the dugout with a throw. Mm-hmm. Dottie smashes a home run and wins the game. And this was one of the places where I was like, that's not a home run. Her swing was like not a home run swing, and it didn't make home run contact. Hers, I just something I noticed when she um, hit it, it was like I was sorry, crap. That's that's my soundboard. All right. Do you really have a? <laughs> Is that real? Table? Who did that? Y'all don't have a soundboard. There's supposed to be some buttons here, but they never work. Hey, look, hold on. I got you guys. That's on your Riverside? That's on my speakers. Oh, you have your own soundboard. Yeah. Where do you get a soundboard? Oh. Did you hear that? Is that, that? you, Don? Yeah. yeah, that was me. We have clapping. I didn't know that. How'd you Wait, do that? It's on uh, when you click the little uh, media thing there. You see it? We're a, we're a podcast. Well, I'm a host, so I think maybe it's only on mine. There's also... I have media. But I only went to my soundboard because of my oh. bad joke, and I deserve, I deserve the. We can't do this. We can't. We can't do this. <laughs> I mean, it's it's making it good. <laughs> nah, this isn't good. I don't think any of this is good. We're just gonna do a soundboard <laughs> podcast. Um, <laughs> that's it, Don. That's, that's that's the end. There you so, go. Again, uh, Dottie smashes a home run. Jimmy washing his face off, and Lowenstein confronts him. <laughs> um, ball players. I haven't got ball players. I've got girls. Girls you went to sleep with after the game, not coach during the game. Misogyny. Yes, misogyny. Yes. Indeed. Uh, far shot of Marla because they're doing all the like. This player is this, and that player is this, and then Marla, they have Marla all the way back. <laughs> that that was fucked up. Very yeah, funny. But, they had her in the fucking outfield and shit. It was funny. It was funny. It was foul, but it was funny. Uh, I play right field for us. Now here comes Stillwell Angel. Ball player. Uh, he actively tries to kill... The, the kid actively tries to kill everybody on the bus, you know. Yeah. Actually, Blinds the bus driver. And yeah. then this guy throws... Dirt in a woman's face. He did. Why did he do that? I'm watching and I'm like, I don't remember that. <laughs> he picked up a handful of dirt and just threw it in. Oh, that's the lady face. that ended up kissing Tom Hanks. Yeah. 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 Well, Tom Hanks forcibly kissed her. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. May is going to poison a dinner so they can all go out, which is it's a lot of weirdness going on here. They poisoned uh, her. She was fucked up. She was not okay. Uh, Tom Hanks with the Who's Lou. <laughs> it's a funny line. And then, uh, by the way, I loved you in The Wizard of Oz. Very good. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was so good. Very good. Um, maybe that's how she entertains herself. Another great line by Tom Hanks when she's throwing up. And <laughs> says, maybe that's how she entertains herself. Um, yeah, most, I've never seen someone throw up that much yeah. <laughs> in my life. 
uh, and I wrote, I know Madonna, because during this scene when she's doing the dancing, I wrote, I know Madonna is awful uh, generally on set, but uh, this is my favorite Madonna look. Like, nine, 92 Madonna, like, during sex. That's the Madonna I like the most. Because uh, what's happened to Madonna recently? Great. It's just not, it's not what you want. You're talking about her face? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Everything. Just. Yeah, she looks, she looks swollen. She's swollen. Yeah, she looks like a bicep. Uh, you, you know, you ever watch? Oh, you watch wrestling. Big Papa Pump. She looks like one of Big Papa Pump. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like the muscles on top of the muscles on uh, <clears throat> Scott Steiner's uh, bicep. But, yeah. Sorry. Happy Women's History Month. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no, I can't. You can't. This stop is what we do. Sorry. That's just who we are. Yeah. Uh, first black folk sighting is the band. Mm-hmm. Wrong. No, I'm not. Yeah, you're wrong. Well, is, well, it there was, was a black close. guy in the in the uh, in the stands. Yeah. Um, in uh, both scenes, in both their game at at the before they got picked up by John Levitz, and there was also a black guy, the same black guy actually, at the game where they were heckling them. I missed him. Yeah, but what got me a little excited was when there was a foul ball and the young black lady picked up the ball and threw the ball and uh, I know you had that in your notes, Joe. Sorry, that's scratch coming. The Sorry, that's yeah. coming. I promise, because yeah. I was, it's an important pivotal moment. Saying we need to showcase, we must showcase. Um, dance sequence is too long, way too long. I don't care about Madonna flipping over this fucking guy. It's too long. Well, it's to, you know, pay homage to the times and yeah. swing dancing. and How long does it have to be? This is 92. Are, are this is like... Dancer, John? Not professionally. I know, but like when you have, have a parties, parties, do you dance? Are you the yeah, dancer? Yeah, dance. Fuck yeah. You're on the floor? Like you're, you're Fuck out yeah. there? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, no. And, I'm a, I, and I have to say, Linda will back this up. I'm a decent thing. I'm not good. I'm decent and I don't care. I, I think, think this, I believe this, the second part. <laughs> this, this more than anything. This right here would take this podcast to another level if you show some of your dance moves one day. Well, I would have to we would have to uh if you can just stand up, you can move that chair, you can stand back. I'm saying this, if if you want to take it or not, we can stick to the I don't, script. Have, I don't have pants on. I'd rather you did it. You don't have dance. I have, I have dance. But it's, uh, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to dance today. But at a later time. When you uh, do, when you guys do a dance movie, that's when. Yeah, Break Into Electric Boogaloo will be our dance film. You know, I knew about Break Into, huh, Don? You know about Break Into? Please move on. Let's go, Let's move on. Uh, and then Dottie's in the car with the kid, and the kid has a great line. What's your rush, doll body? What a line from a nine-year-old kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, the driver. Well, he then says, you want to go to the back seat and make a man of me? Yeah. And then she goes, what if I slap you around or whatever? And then he goes, why can't we do both? <laughs> And I said to myself, is that a young Trevor Bauer? That's a baseball joke there. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. (laughs) But it works. The baseball guy did not enjoy that. (laughs) Fell on deaf ears to me because I'm not a baseball guy, but the baseball guy, either to my left or to my right, I don't know, he did not enjoy that. That's all right. They're gonna that miss joke, that. That joke was not enjoyed. They're gonna miss. I'm not gonna, you know. It's his yeah. 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 Uh, why is that guy's shirt unbuttoned? Did you see that in in the in the? Why is his shirt unbuttoned? Where did where did that come from? I don't know. It's hot. It's not hot. 
Uh, Marla drunk and singing to Nelson. It's very funny. Oh, that was such a good part. Yeah, very when, funny. Uh, da- uh, Daddy asked, what'd you guys do to her? She was yeah. like, yo, where's Marla? And they were like, uh, up there. She was singing beautifully, even though she was drunk. But like, she was singing really good. I thought, it, yeah, I thought it was like a good, you know, I thought it was pretty good. I just think that she fell in love with this guy eight seconds after meeting him. Yeah, yeah. I've had that done happen. How many seconds did it take for you to fall in love with Linda? It took me five to fall in love with my wife, Joe. Oh, that's that. I thought you were cool, going to that's, that's cute, Don. I <laughs> fell in love with mine in three. Well, I, I had to get over. I had to get over Linda's laugh. <laughs> yeah. It took no, a while. No, 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 no. Moving on. Movie. Continue. I'm not doing this with question. you. Not doing this with you. you not doing question. this with you. Moving on. Jesus yeah. fucking Christ, man. Nope. Uh, <laughs> May in the confessional, the priest drops the Bible, and then he comes out sweating. I, I was okay. I didn't love that. Um. Jimmy taking batting practice from the machine, talking to himself. Uh, and then next next uh, scene, Jimmy doesn't like the signs. He and Dottie confusing Marla between the swing away and the bunt. Uh, who's the goddamn manager here? Act like it then, you big lush. Uh, Dottie tips her cap after Marla gets a hit. Um, baseball superstitions, cemetery, cross your fingers, bones. Um... May teaching Shirley to read with erotica. Breast. There's no crying in baseball scene. It's still fucking great. Jimmy yelling at Evelyn. Uh, There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. And then the umpire comes over and says, maybe you shouldn't chastise your play so much. You use the same tongue you would as you would with your mother. And he says, anybody ever tell you like a penis with a little hat on? Which is just... It won't matter, yeah. bro. Fantastic. You know, and then, like, the argument he makes, uh, no, 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 you misunderstood what I said. <laughs> it's like, <"Whoa." laughs> um, Lowenstein lets them know that there's a reporter and that the league isn't doing well. And Madonna says, uh, you go back there and tell rich Mr. Chocolate Man they ain't closing me down. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dottie does the split to catch the ball. So, Another trivia fact is that Gina Davis could do the split, but she couldn't run into the split. So they had somebody run in, and she actually did the split, but she couldn't run in. Uh, running into a split has to be very difficult. I mean, oh, I mean sand, gravel split. like that? Nah, if not fun. Split, you should be able to run into a split. Don't tell me you can split and you can't run into a split. Can you do a split? No. So I would. Because if I could, I would be able to also run into a split. Don't tell me you can split. Oh, you can split. You just straight up split. That's it. You can't run into a split. You a half-ass splitter. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? I can split. I'm like, yo, I can walk fast. Uh, but if I got on shorts, I can't walk fast. Dude, can you Very walk Very different. <laughs> if I even attempted a split, everything would tear and break all at once. It would be over. Talking so about like your hamstrings or the pants? Bo- both. Yes. Yes. The answer Why is not yes. both? <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> your, um, your hamstrings and your Levi's. All right. That's it. Uh, God knows, we, and then uh, they're pl- they're praying, and uh, he says, "God knows we have a game. It's not like any of this helps. Believe me." Uh, and I said, "The montages are some of the best of that era, and some of the best in any sports film." And uh, Rosie O'Donnell says, "You think there are men in this country who ain't seen your bosom?" Ooh. Uh, Don's about to eat food. <laughs> food alert! Food alert! <laughs> <laughs> it's sushi time. Oh, is this a time? Well, whenever Don smiles at Nikki, he's a big fat lummox <laughs> who needs his food. Baba. Baba needs. So, right, what? Don? We're supposed to watch Don eat his sushi? Yeah, that's how I this mean. works. Oh. That, that's how this works. I didn't um, get my. I should have added that to my writer. Yeah. 
I, I mean, <laughs> you should have added food to your rider. That's funny. <laughs> the only thing, the only thing I would add to my rider is that Don show up on time. No, no. Uh, still well, <laughs> Angel. Not starter. Not starter. Still well, Angel eats the lineup, and then this is where the black woman overthrows Dottie um, and hits Ellen Sue, a nod to the Negro leagues and the women who played in them. So I this don't think she overthrew. I think she purposely threw it. No, she no, threw no, no, over yeah, yeah. on purpose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah sure, I mean. So this made me because I had no intention in, or, or 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 went want, down a rabbit hole. This made me want. No, no, I didn't. I didn't go down a research rabbit hole, but it made me want to watch the series that that came out. Uh, was it oh, last yeah. year or the year before? Year before, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it might have even and, been longer ago. They they expound on that scene basically. That whole the whole series is based on that scene where they're showing both sides. They're showing the women's uh, baseball, white women's baseball league, and the the Negro leagues, and what the black women had to go through uh, during that time period. Uh, I thought it was a. It would have been really. I mean, look, they weren't in the fucking league. They didn't allow black women in the league, so it's not like they could just make it up, you know. Um, but. I thought it was a, a interesting nod, um, you know, to to those women who played, like you said, uh, back then. Yeah. You know? Um, Marla gets married. And you know the bruise that homegirl had on her leg? That was real. That was an actual bruise. Lighting? Yeah. That mm. They said that that lasted the, the duration of filming. So it was like a six-week mule bruise she had on her thigh. That shit was that shit was gnarly. That was a crazy ass bruise. Um, and then uh, they're on the bus. No, no, before the bus, a lot of ball players use it. Uh, uh, Jimmy giving tobacco to Dottie, and uh, uh, now there's like a montage of how great Dottie is. She does that behind the back catch, um, which is really cool. Uh, and then tobacco spit. The stands are the stands are packed as we get into the dog days of summer, and Dottie opens up to Jimmy about her husband, um, and then Jimmy has a great line where he says, uh, "I get so useless so fast." Why? Can you read it to us. It says cold water weighs less than hot water. Yeah. Well, thanks for interrupting for that. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I get so useless so fast. And then um, Jimmy says to Dottie, you play like you love it. Uh, and Dottie gives him a Coke instead of booze. And he says, you know, these two really don't mix. Which is not true. They do mix. Booze and Coke. You mix. know, I, I, I find that I, I tend not to do that anymore. But I, 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 I drink mostly just, you know, it's a lot whiskey, of sugar. whiskey on the rocks. But I don't even feel the unless um, it's pretty much on, only thing I drink. If I'm drinking something else, I probably might throw it with a a soda, just because I know I'm not used to it anymore. Um, like, I'm not used to rum anymore. I'm not used to vodka anymore. Like I don't drink those things anymore. So if I happen to partake in that, then I will do with some soda. I never drank clear liquor that much. Like I don't love clear liquor. Oh boy, um, I, had, I had tequila days for sure. Yeah, I'm 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 a brown liquor drinker generally, and uh, you know, like I've I've reverted. I guess my tastes have changed where I've reverted back to henny. I really only drink henny. Oh wow! Um, and I only like it on the rocks or with a very 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 little bit of water. I don't. I don't want Henny and Coke anymore. And I, I mean, I used to drink Henny and Cherry Coke, Henny and Coke. I um, like my uh, Henny and Vanilla Coke. I like my yeah. liquor like I like my women. Where? Strong, strong, strong. <laughs> I wanted to know. Strong, strong. And empowered, and independent. <laughs> yeah, I like my strong. You know what I mean? I like. I love it. Yeah, my, I like my liquor strong. Yeah, my woman's strong. My my girl's strong. Uh, you guys still drink beer though? I mean, I have a beer occasionally. I mean, I, beer makes me like bloated. Something I don't know. It's just like 
it's a Cajun thing for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I also think the worst hangover is beer. Well, I haven't got beer drunk in God knows how. Oh long. man, like no, if you go to a ball game, don't do. Los, do you find that if you go to a ball game, you're more likely to drink beer only? Because I'm no, not. No, no, I smoke weed at the ball oh, game. Okay. okay, yeah, because I'm not paying twenty six dollars for their fucking two shot drink. I went to a uh, a wrestling show with uh, with Rem a couple of years ago. With nice, nice fucking floor seats. It was like a house show. It wasn't on televised Where? or nothing like that. Uh, MSG. Okay. Um, really nice. You know, it wasn't crowded in there, nothing like that. But it was a good time. It was a cage match and everything. It was pretty fucking cool. Okay. Um, we I, we got up there on the elevator VIP. Right, Nikki got me VIP. I think it was for my birthday. And uh, I bought, we bought two tall boy beers, uh, Guinness and something else, probably a Miller High Life, Remick likes. You know, the motherfuckers came out to 30 something dollars for the two of them. That's the garden. Maybe even 40, to be quite honest with you. That's the garden. It was fucking nuts. Well, City Field, the tall boys are like, same price, 13, 14 dollars. Well, I also don't love, like, I'll go into city and I'll get. I, I don't care about a craft beer at that point if I'm in city. Like I don't give a fuck about a Budweiser if I'm watching the game or whatever. I'll drink whatever's the cheapest shit that they got because right. also they've made it so they've made baseball so fast now you can't even get a buzz on. You can't even enjoy beer. So um, you don't like the uh, the new rules that they implemented a couple years ago um, to make the game faster. I don't dislike them. I, I didn't like them at first because change takes time to adapt to. And now I can't think of baseball any other way. I forget how long it used to be. You know, it's like, I mean, I don't like the runner on second rule in extra innings. I think that needs to go away. And I think that's going away next season, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but otherwise, you know, I don't. I also don't like that they made the bag bigger for steals. Like every, every guy is going to have 40 stolen bases. It's the, the bag is like that much bigger, but it, it it affects the corner. Like if you're sliding into second base, I mean, if 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 at the end of the day, if this much is was the differentiator, the people who are fast and were stealing are gonna get out as much and steal as much. You just got to know how to block the base a little better. Well, they got rid of that too. Did I you know. see Lindor today? Crazy. Okay, we can talk about that in a little while. Um, where were we? Uh, <laughs> I get so used to it so fast. You play like you love it. Drinks a Coke instead. Kit is struggling, and Jimmy wants to pull her, that, pull her out. And Kit tries to talk herself back into it, and Dottie says to take her out. She's done. She's throwing grapefruits up there. Um, Harvey lets Lowenstein know that they're going to be done after this season, and Lowenstein's like, brother, you gotta, you gotta, you got to hold on. Uh, Rock- I think that the yeah. authenticity of these 1940s uh, colloquialisms were delivered fantastically oh. by everybody in this fucking movie. Stuff like that you kind of expect from Tom Hanks. That's kind of his bag is doing 1940s anything. You know what I'm saying? He's kind of his shit. He's actually very much so a World War II buff in real mm-hmm. life also. Um but like you know, Dottie and even Madonna, shockingly enough, you know, and Rosie O'Donnell, like the 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 catchphrases, the quirkiness of these nineteen forties slangs and terminologies were delivered just authentically. It was kind of really cool. And you didn't get taken out of the movie. No. You know, so you watch some movies yeah. that are period pieces, and it kind of takes you out. Feel forced. You're watching. You're watching a contemporary person. Feeling force, yeah, forcing a oh, I'm, 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 you know, and it's like it just don't fucking work, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, but in this movie, you didn't have that, you didn't have that. Um, Lowenstein sees it through, he understands. Lowenstein also really sticks his dick out to try to save this league, like he's the only one that's really like, I'll talk to the owners, I'll get it done. Um, and he says, I think you were wrong, and I'm gonna prove it to you, Mr. Harvey. Um, Dottie and Kit get into a fight after Dottie talks shit on her. Jimmy carries her into the shower and gives her the cold water treatment. You stay down there and you cool off. More of the Dottie versus Kit stuff. I think the jealousy stuff gets a little played out. Just a little bit. 
Like well, just too too much of it. It you was. Uh, I mean, yeah. Thank you for that. Very good. <laughs> I agree. I mean, you want, you I know, mean they 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 highlighted that from the beginning of the movie. Yeah, and, and there should be a point where you go, okay, and write something else. I mean, and that's kind of a point in the movie where they where Kit actually doesn't play with the peaches anymore. So yeah, so yeah, Dottie so decides here, here actually, yeah. Dottie decides she's going home. Lowenstein tries to figure something out, trade me or whatever. But if you don't figure it out by tomorrow, I'm going home. And then Kit informs Dottie she's been traded to Racine by throwing a baseball at her head. <laughs> a normal reaction. Uh, blow it out your rear end. I got you into this league, goddammit. I like that choice. Not saying ass, because she is a ref- she is sort of a refined woman who plays baseball. Yes, she's classy. Yeah. Um, I'll see you in the World Series. Yeah, you will. Ooh, I love that. That was nice. Uh, and then the song that Shirley wrote, We Are the Members of the All-American League. If you're not crying, you're lying. Um, where were we? Still well, staring at legs and women. That was what weird kid, little kid staring at legs and women. Yeah. Uh, the le- and look, tough scene here, which is one of my favorite scenes in the film because uh, Tom Hanks does really, really well in this scene. Uh, the mail carrier comes from the War Department and has to inform one of them that their husband has been killed in the war. Um, and he says, hey, just give me the telegram. Just just give me the telegram. And uh, the way he does the walk, and he, the way he says, I'm sorry, Betty, just really perfect. It's, it, it was, it was, and it's so, it's, it's, it's wild because these things, like, you know what to expect emotionally, right? But you don't think it's coming. But they still they still hit you. It's so yeah. weird. I really didn't think I would have an emotional reaction to this movie the way I did. I had yeah, I had many. I, I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't see that coming. And uh when he says when she says, Oh no, it's George, George, bro, that's crazy how wild she got. Um and then Jimmy saying, Come on, girls, we still got a game to play. Yeah. Uh, Dottie crying alone in the room. I did you think her husband came back too fast after this scene? Was that okay? Are you guys okay with that? You think? I mean, I mean, it was because she was lot, like already in a lot the mental the state. Almost though. No, no, I mean too fast after George dies. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, like she was already. Right. I mean, small. It's small. The discrepancy from me, but I don't know. Uh, There's not really telling how much time has passed since that game and to the scene where she's in the room. Well, yeah, no, because it's the World Series and it's the next game. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. I thought it was like eight games before that. No, because uh, Dottie crying alone in the room is no, a husband. But- I know, but like when they when once she says that she's leaving back with her husband, she's done with baseball, right? Yeah, I and I thought that and was then, after game one. Was that no? But then when when it's the World Series, Jim goes up to the catcher and is like, "Hey," and then realizes it's Dottie, and then Maybe basically right, yeah. tells Dottie that, "Yo, this girl was our catcher for the last six games. She's doing a great job." Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Way to blow it, Joe. Hey, that's my fault. Hey, I can admit when I'm wrong, you're right. No, no, no. That's, yeah. that's, that's what you got a co-host here for. Whoa. <laughs> uh, me? Oh, not me. Dottie crying him alone. And it's, so Bill Pullman, who's her husband, did this as a favor to Penny Marshall, who was like a, a really good family friend of Bill Pullman. Um, and he, he's a, an established actor at this point, Bill Pullman. And he's got like four lines in this movie, you know. Yeah. Um, so is that like uh, avocado salmon? Done. <laughs> is that like a California roll? It's a it's dragon, spicy dragon, avocado and eel okay. hand roll. All right, my bad. Yeah. 
What's your what's your go to sushi there, Don? That one? Uh avocado and eel and uh Philadelphia rolls. Green spicy roll. Yeah, spicy uh salmon. Oh no. Yeah. I gotta try that one, the eel. What about you, Lois? What's your go to sushi? Oh, straight up avocado salmon. That's it. Yeah, avocado salmon is good too. Sa- yeah. Salmon Sorry, or yellowtail. So I like yellowtail and avocado. Uh I like uh tuna. The, the dragon ones are pretty good sometimes. Do you, do you like the fried ones? I don't really like the fried. Oh, yeah, it's gotta I don't like be in the too mood. much saucy shit on yeah. my like, I agree in the that. mood. Um, where were we? Uh, why am I the only person on this bus? And then uh, he, he he gives the, the the kids come with the ball, the sign. Avoid the clap, Jimmy Dugan. That's good advice. Um. And then Jimmy, uh, Jimmy was not informed of Dottie le- leaving, and he has some great lines here. And I always think about this line: uh, if it wasn't hard, everyone would do it. Mm. The hard is what makes it great. Ooh, baseball. That that that's how I've always felt about. But I look, it's the greatest sport ever. There's nothing like baseball. Thanks. Nothing. Um, I using the pick- pickleball. You prefer what? Pickleball. He Pickle prefers ball? pickles. <laughs> Man eats pickles. Uh, uh, using the paper as a montage is great. Uh, and a lot of movies in the 40s did do this, but it felt more natural in this movie. Um, Game 7 and Dottie is coming back. Time for the song and dance. I'd like to lead you all in a little prayer. And he says, thank you for the waitress in Des Moines. You know what I'm talking about? And then these are good girls. They work hard. Help them see it all the way through. And then Dottie's back. Trouble, you had trouble with bears, did you? And then uh, he says, you know, and Alice has been our catcher for six or seven games. So he said, well, you're already dressed. Uh, so play. Uh, and then um, Stillwell Angel gets hit with that glove. And he does a great pratfall where, like, he gets hit. And then sort of looks to the side. And <laughs> it's so good. That kid got his shit rock. I don't know if that's like, I don't think that would be allowed nowadays in these movies. You can't throw something at a child's face. Yeah, but back in the 80s, you just hit a kid in the face, pay the parents. <laughs> <laughs> you get a parent low $250 and he'll be out. Right. Yeah, be yeah, right. yeah, you give, you give the kid's mother like an extra $500 and some sandwiches from the craft services table and you're riding <laughs> high. Um, well, you're already dressed, yeah. And then Jimmy says, we're going to win after the kid gets hit with the glove. Uh, Evelyn misses the cutoff man again. And Jimmy, instead of yelling, takes a quieter approach to show her that he's growing. And then he does the <laughs> shaking thing, which is very funny. <laughs> While well, he's, like, steaming with fury yeah. and shit. I want it was pretty to, funny. Something I want you to work on in the off season. <laughs> um. Evelyn, yeah, May legs out that infield hit. Dora singles. Evelyn with the suicide squeeze. Two outs. Some seri- serious. Uh, and then Dottie gets up. And then the catcher shuts up. Dottie does that walk. That stride to the plate. Uh, serious fucking walk from Dottie. Kit feels the pressure. Comes down to Kit and Dottie. Come back to Kit. Over her head. Rockford takes the lead. Gets Kit gets out of the inning. Bottom of the ninth. Kid having a full fledged panic attack. Yeah. In the, yeah. In the I mean, she this is, out. and it's a good panic attack she's having. Very, uh, very real. Um, Penny does a good job of tension building by showing each at bat, not skipping. I really like that. Do you feel as though <clears throat> this film, and I can't act like I was paying super duper attention. You ever watch sports films and just the sequels of events? of sequence of events kind of don't actually make sense. Yes. And I feel like that wasn't the case in this movie. No, yeah. I, it's like, wait a minute, you were just back two and then you hit a single that's not going to get you three runs ahead. Either. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, how does that work? You know what I'm saying? Like, the math ain't math and type yeah, shit. They, they some, did some a great sports job movies. with that. Not they, 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 there was one moment of strategy, as as George Bush would, would put it, uh, that was a little off. Um, bunting the bunting the runner over 
I mean, you do have Dottie coming up, so I guess bunting the run over would make sense. But you did have runners on first and second. Mm-hmm. Why, why are you bunting there with one out? To I guess to stay out of the double play, but just don't hit into a double play. Well, you just answer your own question, dude. I guess, but you wouldn't. Los, would you would you bunt uh, uh, bo- bottom of the ninth? You're losing, and they were losing. You wouldn't bunt. That moment of strategy made a little less sense to me. But I guess because you have your big bopper coming up in Dottie, but still it made a little less sense. Because if they were tied, I would understand it. But at that point, they were losing. So. Uh, so, no, this film doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, no, it does. Um, it, come back a kit. Uh, Dottie makes a spectacular catch into the dugout. Well, that was some fucking catch he made. Um, little stare down between Dottie and Kit. Dottie goes out and tells Betty Sue to throw high, high fastballs. Can't hit him. Can't lay off him. Kit catches up to the last one. And this was a good belter. Good, good in the gap shot. Um, one run comes in and then Kit just totally ignores the stop sign. He's Runs running. through, battles Dottie. Dottie drops the ball. Rockford wins, and Kit is the hero instead of Dottie. And Hinson dropped the ball. Hinson dropped the ball. And I don't know if you know that the announcer is Squiggy from um, Laverne and Shirley, who you know worked with Penny Marshall for many, many years. And he has a great line here where he says, Oh, mama, take me home and put me to bed. I have seen enough to know I have seen too much. What a great 1940s baseball call. Um, D- Dottie's happy for his sister, and Do then we think that she really got plowed through. Did, did we, oh, there goes Los again. <laughs> didn't like we, anything. <laughs> he did not actually like that 1940s baseball announcing. Um, so what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh technology, I mean. Well, he died. Yeah. There was a sound. Yeah, I, I, I did the laughing. Did you not hear it? It just sounded like something muffled. That I, I'm telling you, this is your headphones or something. Something's wrong. Anyway. Why is mine not working? Uh, should I just wait? We're going to do this in three parts. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> This episode's not going to air. <laughs> Having a hard time. Yeah, this episode is not going to air. All right, so um, this is a little lost episode. <laughs> this is this is what we're trying to wrap up here. All right, let me hit stop. I'm not going to end all okay. the session for everybody. Who's going to hit okay. stop? All right. What's going on? Drug dealer computers, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Dude. buy your computers off of Jamaica Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Linden Boulevard apple. <laughs> uh, uh, well, Walter, what do you say? All right, Ira, we'll stick with it. Uh, Kit signing autos for the kids. and she. Oh, and... Sorry. Hey. Do we think that Dottie dropped the ball, dropped the ball or <laughs> did she actually get ran through? She dropped the ball off of this. I, I go back and forth. For these reasons, if you want to debate it, Joe, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so there were, there used to be times where I was like, oh, she definitely dropped the ball, let her sister win. But then, like, the way the hand hits the ground, most people would drop the ball. So it's like, I'll say she dropped the ball. That's fine. All right. I'll say she I'll dropped the ball. you would debate me, but all right. No, no. I just, I don't know. Sometimes I think she does, and sometimes I think she doesn't. I think the implication is that she dropped it. The implications are there throughout the whole movie. They're showing Daddy behind her back, through her leg, yeah. in a split, dumping into the dugout. <laughs> 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 she plays as a catcher. 
<laughs> she got ran through by a five foot two fucking 120 no, pound baseball that, player. Someone else runs into her. She holds on to the ball. Now, the littlest person, and it just happens to be her sister. This means the world to who does she does she can't go back home. She's nothing there. Dottie yeah. has a life. Dottie has a husband. She's out of there. She knows that. She knows now. I'm gone. I'm going to Oregon. Play the Oregon Trail. She knew that. She knew her sister. This meant so much. She's been living in her shadow all her life. Even from the beginning of the, 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 the movie. Even a fan was like, oh, you're going to let your sister bail you out again? Like all these things. They're leading up to that one scene. Of course she dropped the ball. Second question. Do you think do you think Kit knows that she dropped the ball on purpose? I don't think Kit even cares. She just wants to be the hero. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I would I would think if she did drop the ball on purpose, Kit doesn't give a shit if she dropped the ball on yeah, purpose. She's been wanting this. She's been wanting this. The reason they're there is because of Kit. Yeah. Well, um, not talent, but her convincing. Yeah. Hmm. To that Dottie, yeah. So Kit, Kit is signing autos, and Dottie lets Kit know she's leaving, and she says, "No, I want to have kids. We want to have kids." And then he said, "She says, I'll miss the girls. I'll miss you, Kit." And then just when I want you to stay, you're leaving. Um, you're gonna miss this. I don't care what you say. And then Jimmy says uh, about a new job in Wichita, I think, or, or somewhere. I turned them down. Why? I already got a job, meaning that Jimmy is coming back to coach Rockford. Uh, and now we're back in the present. And the girls recognize Dottie by throwing the same very fast ball on her old bare hand. <laughs> they said, hey, hey, oh, bro, is that who I think it is? <laughs> How many people did they hit in the face with a fucking ball before they found the actual Dottie? It was like, ooh, yeah, that's not Dottie. Yeah. Is that what I think it is? Mm -hmm. uh, blood <laughs> oh, 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 that's not Daddy. <laughs> that's not Daddy. <laughs> um, Bob's dead. Just like, and then she's she's here to, you know, Bob's, uh, you know, she's doing like like De Niro would say somebody's dead in a movie. You know, <laughs> you know yeah. Bob, you know where he is. You know where he's at. Uh, and then. Uh, and then still well, and then they're they're into the uh, into the museum. Still well, Angel. Mom died a couple of years ago, and then uh, that's a, that's another gut check for you in the movie. Um, Dottie says she was a real nice lady and a damn fine ball player. When I heard about this, I felt like I owed it to her to be here. She always said it was the best time she had in her whole life. Another great moment, and then. Dottie sees that Jimmy died in 1987. That's another crazy moment. Uh, and then this guy's about to cut the ribbon. Doris says, Mr. Lowenstein, since you kept the league going all those years, you do it. Old John Lovett's still alive. Look at that. There he is. Uh, Betty Sue sings the song. All the girls singing it. Old And old Kit looks more like young Kit than Gina Davis's old Dottie looks like young yeah. Dottie. I tell you what, though, the casting director should have gotten an award for that fucking movie because <clears throat> the actual young ball players were great. Yeah, but the people that they casted to be the older versions of themselves, great. Yes. Yeah. Was any of those old people actually somebody? No. Yeah, somebody's grandmother. Well, there's that. Like I meant, like actual like ball players and shit. I wanted like, was there any research, any trivia on that? Uh, no, I didn't see anything. Because they would have been around that age. That that was present day, right? Yeah, I would think so. I think they would be about there. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm I'm gonna look back on that and get back to you guys. Yeah, next give episode. us a report on that. With the, yeah, the, I can't oh, wait uh, for that. My <laughs> phone's gonna be off. Uh, uh, <laughs> Dottie and Kit hugging and rejoicing, and then the original peaches. The credits roll. Um, I gave it a 4.2 out of 5. Uh, still works. It's straightforward. But for me, it's a top three baseball film ever made. 
great popcorn flick that does tell an, of an important time in sports. So a nice another, 4.2 out of 5. Another demerit that Joe gave this movie is, you know, it would have been a 4.5, maybe even a 4.9. Too many women. Joe didn't care for the amount of women That's just in this movie. <laughs> he had to make some nice. deductions because of that. Look, yeah. I know the mercury in your blood is high because of the fish you're eating, <laughs> but you got to relax. <laughs> Uh, Stop clutching your pearls again. You're doing it again. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I gave this movie a, what'd you say? 4.2. I'm going to go 4.6 because fuck you. No That's way. my reasoning. It's an insult to me. <laughs> out of the three of us, everyone watching or listening, uh, out of the three of us, I feel like I respect women the most. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving this movie a five. Yeah. I didn't see anything really bad about it. I'm giving it a five. It's, it's hard to argue that. I um, yeah, yeah, I can't argue. I, I I like it very much. Yeah, I think uh, it would have been. And like I said, I'm looking forward to watching the series. I think I'm going to check it out. I would have loved. I don't know this movie was kind of long. It was like a little two over two hours. hours. Minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. It was on a long side, you know. So but like, it moved. yeah, it moved. It was. It was it had a good pace to it. But like you said, like certain, like the the length of the dad scenes. You um, could have shaved the eight minutes. <laughs> maybe, maybe you know, uh, a montage less, you know. And I would give. I would have swapped those minutes out for maybe some a little bit of exposition into the black female uh, Negro League players. Yeah, you know I mean, it didn't have to be huge. But it, it, it would have been nice to have been more than just a sturdy throw of the baseball, you know. Sure. <laughs> that would have been cool. Well, 4.9. 4.9, 4.6, 4. 4.2. 4. Hey, see it. It's a classic. It is. It's yeah. a classic film. I mean, and uh, it could be made <clears throat> today and still be great. It could have been made 40, 50 years ago and still been great. This um, is something I could see getting remade. Very, very easily with oh, the sure. added, to, the added um, women, black women. Like I said, yeah, I can see that happening. I for mean, sure. I guess they kind of did with the series. So perhaps now, because the series happened, they're not going to do a movie. Did you do a recasting? No, no, I neither did I. Too many white people. I don't. Yeah, I would just make I them love... all the uh, guys. I love... uh... <laughs> The 1996 Mets lineup. <laughs> no, uh, that's okay, team. 96 wasn't bad. The thoughts they were getting. <laughs> okay, so now, Lois, let's let's let, let, let's do the thing that Don doesn't like. What's that? How do you think we're gonna be this year? Ah, oh, <laughs> tell me, real good. Underrated. We're underrated. I think people sleeping on us. This rotation is do way better than people thought. This is gonna be way better. Boy. Shout out to David Stearns. Trust the process. I love David Stearns. Love so, him. It's... I think we are... So people are telling me that we're going to finish worse than the Marlins, and I don't understand that. Um, I think we are somewhere between 84 and 88 wins and a wild card. Maybe the second wild card. Because I, I do think that the Braves... Uh, shut up, Don. I do th- I do think that the Braves are a little too powerful. Nah, Don, have you watched this video when he was Cobb something? What was his name? Flex Cabana. Flex Flex Cabana. What is that? Yeah. The Rock. Did you? See I know. He's doing the promo kind of promo as Flex Cabana, whatever the name is. Mm. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna send it to you. <laughs> it, was um, it was it was hilarious. But I, I do think people are underrating us as well. I don't I don't think uh I think this rotation is gonna be something to watch. I'm very excited for this rotation. And I'm excited to see Luis Severino win fifteen games for the Mets. I really think he could do it. I would love to bring Don to a game. This, I, I, been to a game, game. I haven't I haven't been I've been I've been to a game uh long, probably when City Field just opened, right? That's when we went. No. When, when did it first open? Two thousand eight. Nine. No. Okay, so not not with you. At first, all right. So I went two thousand eight nine. Uh, the you went, were there in two thousand fifteen. No, I went there two thousand ten. 
shortly after I opened with my father. That was the first time I went to City Field. Um, yeah. What you uh, anyway, you never been with me. It's way fun. Let's oh, go. I want to go with a celebrity dude. That sounds like fun. That sounds like a real good fucking time. Let's go. I want to go. I love. I love that. Um, I'm gonna have to buy some Mets stuff. I don't own anything orange or blue. All right, not a single thing. Tell you something. Oh, you probably got cool shit. He does. Look look at everything behind him. He has a lot Yo, of cool shit. Yeah, I follow you. I don't know if I follow you back. You're going to regret it. Um, <laughs> you? You're going to regret it. A you're big so, mistake. You're so negative. <laughs> you're such a negative man. What are we top watching three. next week, Don? What are we doing? I thought you said we are doing a top three baseball film. Oh, or right, the right, fuck. right. Okay. Well, just favorite. Let's not do top. Let's just do favorite. Just do yeah, favorite. favorite baseball films. Uh, this is three for sure. Uh huh. I gotta put the natural in there with Robert Redford. That is a great fucking baseball movie. Never seen it. Oh, it's really really good. Um, boy, number one. You know, you know what's an underrated baseball movie. I don't know if it's number one. No, I'm going to put The Natural as number one. Number two is Little Big League. I love Little Big League, where the kid gets to uh, become the general manager, the owner of the Twins. Do remember that. That movie is so underrated. Angels Wasn't in that... the Outfield also up there. Oh, that's, See, that's what I was going to go for. Angels in the Outfield is something that I remember vividly watching a million times. And uh, a, a non... Like baseball y movie that's surrounded by baseball. De Niro, uh, 73, a movie called Bang the Drum Slowly. Man. Uh, I'm really uh, disappointed. So I'm really disappointed that you did not say the Sandlot. Oh, I yep. don't like the Sandlot. Yeah. You don't like kids. I told you. It seems like you don't like kids. Never, don't he like doesn't like joy. And you don't I like just it. named joyful <laughs> movies. I just don't like other people's joy. Okay, okay. I like my own joy. Go ahead. Come on. Give me more. Go ahead. Um, I'm... Man, off the top of my head, I'm, I'm kind of burnt out, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I do a show every Monday. It's called Mets Monday on Instagram Live. I do it for an hour long. And this right here, I'm like, I, I, I should have ask more questions. It's so a double header you just did there, really. I was just like, yeah, Don, hell yeah. I just thought it was... Yeah. And even though this is three parts, this is probably a shorter one. Yeah, to be quite honest with you, this is probably one of the shorter episodes. Um, I'm going to go Sandlot. Yes. Not in any distinct order. Sandlot, uh, Angels in the Outfield, and uh, Bad News Bears. Ooh. Oh, how the fuck could we forget that one? I'm yeah. okay. I, I'm moving the league of their own out. I'm sorry. The bad news <laughs> gets into the league. Wow. You wow. Which version, though? Which the version? Original. The original? Because Joe doesn't like black children, especially. If he doesn't like Ahmed, kids, he definitely doesn't like I love Ahmed. <laughs> Get up there, eh, man. <laughs> So, the thoughts and opinions of the old ass movie podcast, <laughs> that of Vintage Mess, do not um, coincide. This is the what? One. Are you drinking prune juice? <laughs> it's a Snapple, man. Oh. What the fuck? But I would have prune juice have Snapple facts. I read you the Snapple facts. Okay, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> but I will, I will say this, and I do have one last question for Don. All right. What oh, really boy. happened in that cave upstate? This has been old ass movie reviews. <laughs> that was great. Have a good night, guys. Um, so wait, we're not signing off. This is not <laughs> <the movie. laughs> that's not the sign off. No. All right, you sign um, off. so next week, this is the sign off. I do the sign off. I'm the sign off guy. <laughs> next week, we're going to be doing <laughs> Watermelon Woman, uh, a movie directed by Cheryl Dune, or is it Dune? Uh, not quite sure. I think it's Doom. Dune. Cheryl, Cheryl Doom. I'm pretty sure. I think there's um, a Y in there. No. Maybe. I don't know. But Miss Cheryl D. Um, and that's going to be with special guest host 
uh, Feli Maynard, a nice, very good friend of mine, friend of the show, and, and I'm very, uh, very excited for that. Very excited to see this film. I've never seen it before, so I'm very yeah, excited. That's, that's another. That's going to be another '90s film that we're going to be jumping 94, into. '94, right? Yeah, '95. Yeah. There's well, a noise happening. There's, do you hear that noise? Is that you, Don? It's, it's, no, I'm not doing it. This is this is great stuff. Great stuff, guys. Anyway, this has been another episode of We'll Fix It in Post. Oh, there's movie reviews. We watch movies pre '99 for free '99. Thank you, Los. Thank you, Thank you guys Los. for having me. On. Yeah, man. And, oh, give your um, you know, spell out your whole Instagram. Clearly. Oh, my whole Instagram is V N T G underscore Mets. And give me a follow if you're a Mets fan, if you like fashion, if you like vintage clothing, if you feel sorry for me, um, <laughs> just give me a follow. All right, that's beautiful, let's go Mets. Cool, brothers. Appreciate. Thank it. you.